Dude, Good Burger. That was okay, a I didn't watch Good Burger. Banger movie. Yeah, what? Yeah, we did. I've never Welcome seen Good Burger. Good Burger, Homa, the Good Burger. May I take your order? I mean, I get Yo, that man. reference, but I've never seen it. I swear, I thought you watched it. I've never seen Good Burger. Oh, That's damn. just like you and Slane. I played the first Red Dead. Or not, wait, yeah. Not the first, the first Borderlands, which I never, I, I literally have never played the first Borderlands. Kill. Yeah. It, it had Keenan and Kel in Good Burger. That's fucking Keenan and Kel was fucking good. Kel doesn't. I don't know what Kel does now, but like Keenan Thompson is like big on SNL now. Obviously. I, I love those fucking Siamese cats. That one show. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Kel uh, Mitchell. Sogway. Sessions. Yeah, rapping. Movie. Comedian. Singer. Film director. Film producer. Child actor. Screenwriter. Dancer. Voice actor and rapper. Hmm. Sounds like some pussy shit to me. Dragon Tales, Maya Miguel, JJ the fuck pla J jet plane. What happened to Kel Mitchell? He auditioned for Saturday Night Live in 2003, but lost to his Keenan and Kel co-star Keenan Thompson. Well, they only want one of them. They only want one of them. That's kind of fucked yeah, up. Fucked. Like Mitchell is currently a cast member in Dan Schneider's sitcom Game Shakers. Huh. Little Josh was like, yeah, man, I'm gonna stay up till I get tired and just talk to you till I get tired and go to sleep. Now we've been talking about fucking old TV shows you used to watch for the past, like, hour and a half. Keenan opened up about his relationship with Quelder Kel during his appearance on The Breakfast Club, and like any real-life friendship, he admits they've had their ups and downs. Rumors swirled for years that the two had fallen out of touch, and even that a feud existed between the former co-stars. Keenan, for the most part, stayed low on these rumors. Kel, on the other hand, seemed to do fuel them every chance he got. He once told TMZ, The truth is, Keenan does not want to be seen with me in any form of media or even have my name mentioned around him. I have not been upset about this. This is hard for what a lot of What did Kel do? Of all that, Keenan, Kel, and Good Burger, because the main few to believe those iconic duo were no longer friends. I don't know. Because I remember, like, a couple of years ago, they did, like, a redo on, like, the Jimmy Fallon show or something. But late now with Jimmy Fallon. iCarly, banger. I want to binge watch all of iCarly now. It's amazing what nostalgia will fucking do to a person, man. So I don't, I don't know if they're still friends or they're not friends. Fuck, I don't fucking know. I don't care. I, I didn't like Kenan. I mean, Kenan Thompson's funny. I don't really know anything about Kill. I didn't watch any of that shit. I didn't watch the Good Burger. Didn't watch all that. Didn't watch any of that. Bro, what is that one show? Like, it, like, I'm, I'm trying to think. There were two guys and they were like fried cooks. And they, they worked at the a hot puppets? dog place. Yes. And they worked at the fucking hot dog place. That you show freaked me the fuck out. I loved I know, it, dude. but I couldn't fucking handle it. Fuck, I'm trying to figure out what it's called. Mr. Meaty. Mr. Meaty? Yeah, that show was fucking wild. <laughs> Bro. You could drop acid. You're fucked watching that show. Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. No, yeah, that's right. I remember it. Mr. Me. <laughs> Fanboy and Chum Chum. That was pretty good. That was fun. Oh, Attack and the Power of Juju. I may watch some of that. I wasn't a huge fan of it. Mighty B, that was I like that. Planet Sheen, <laughs> fucking. Mm. Hi, I'm Paul. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Buzzfeed literally has a a topic from 2017. That's like to all those kids that were fucking traumatized by Mr. Me. <laughs> yeah, that show was. Fucking wild. Mr. Meaty, nice to meet you. Hamburger. 
Make it bloody. Hamburger, make it bloody. So, uh, you like blood and stuff? Uh, yeah. Sure, I guess. Would you like a tour of our, uh, dark, bloody, Mr. Meaty franchise? Okay. 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 <laughs> Nightmare on Josh Street. Oh God! <laughs> you need to watch this know, right what? now. <laughs> Look up I Mr. Meaty Josh. Nightmare on Josh Street and fucking watch it. It's like an 11 minute episode. <laughs> Crispy hand episode was fucking weird. God. Bro, it's been seven minutes, kind of find a fucking lobby. I need to win one fucking round and I can't. This is horse shit. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Whatever. Man, Crim6, now that all the new teams have been announced, Crim6, Crim6 just came out and said he fucking, he no longer is friends with Skump, and he fucking hated Dashy and DJ. <laughs> Crim6 went up on Skump, Formal, Dashy TJ, and uh, Karma. He's got some big dick energy going on right now. He was asked in an interview about uh, teaming with Formal, and it was asked if he'd ever team with Formal again, and his response to it was who? And then Formal was streaming, and he, and he read it. He said, it's fucking mad disrespectful. I can't wait for the new COD season, bro. Crim6 is talking mad shit about all the other teams. <laughs> what if I got pecked by a penguin? What the fuck are you watching? Nightmare on Josh Street. Oh yeah, you're welcome. Five monsters. Five exterminators. One endless night of terror. Just keep repeating. We need to it's win only one it's only round. <laughs> Don't get your party, John. <laughs> Almost too easy. Famous last words. Bro, this. What the fuck is this? Sixty seconds remain. <laughs> Alright, finally won that fucking round, so whatever this game ends, I can finally get my second pack. They're here.
Josh and Parker. Oh shit. The hunt intensifies. Thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds. Buckle up. Five seconds left. It wasn't long before the screens began. <laughs> Just keep repeating. It's only a game. It's only a game. One minute remaining. A minute remains. So what the hell is this? Fifteen seconds. God, bro, what the hell? You, you sent me a fucking abomination. <laughs> You're welcome. I, I don't, I don't think I'm happy about that. What do I get? Are we gonna leave around like five? Uh, I mean, I'm probably, I need to be up at five to take a shower, so I'm gonna leave at like six. Cause say, so you're not going to Jonesboro. So if we both have to get our tickets. Oh my, I, I kind of like it. I got Bandit's Convict outfit, the bright orange one. Yes. I, but I didn't get a headgear though, which kind of blows. Oh, that's it. Even though I would love to pay for the other ones. But, so we're gonna leave around like six. Oh, you can oh you can buy them with renown. Damn it! Oh, what about that? What about a pack? Yeah, see here. I mean, the one the the game stops are pretty close to each other, so it wouldn't look, take us long to get our receipts. It'll take us like an hour maximum to eat, and then for you to drop me off at like eight fifteen. I don't want to stand that long. Eight fifteen, like eight thirty. Eight fifteen, eight thirty. And that gives you plenty of time to get to your spot. Uh, so if I if if I want to be there at 8:15 minus an hour, 7:15, and it takes 30 minutes to get to Jonesboro, 6:45. 
If we just want to walk around the mall for a little bit, then yeah, we can leave we leave about six. Gives about forty five minutes to fuck around the mall before we go eat or something. Yeah. Mm. Alright. Alright, man. Let's see you later. Eleven hours till we leave. Woo! Can't fucking wait. We're gonna stay in the night and fucking download the goddamn game. Ooh, fuck me. Oh, oh yeah.